so we have talked about Stefan Bond, which was the man who invented the shell. Then we should also talk about Bell Labs because without it, there couldn't be the shell or there couldn't be any research about it. So actually, Bell Labs, as you can guess, Bell is the name of the man who invented the telephone. The man who invented or created the telephone, invented the telephone was called Bell. And uh, he was called Graham Bell and he created a company called Bell's, Bell System. At, at the beginning of that company, if you can check about, about him, Normally, the man w- which who was called Alexander Graham Bell had a prize from the French government. So, with that prize for create, he created a company which is which was called Bell Laboratory. Uh, it was in the U.S. in Washington D.C. Then. That company evolved and they created, they invented the telephone. And uh, from the money going inside that company or generated by that company, he continued innovations. And after that, they they, they partnered with the American Telephone and Telegraph Company so that they can expand and they can be a big research company and uh, after that they continued to to take more researchers more scientists in the in the world of technology and uh, they created too many things so as you can guess from that laboratory came to many innovations like radio astronomy, like transistors, like le- laser, photovoltaic cells, but also the language, too many, prog- the unique systems, the unique system, operating system comes from there also. The information theory comes from there. The language, programming language B, programming language C, programming language C++, pro- programming language S, Snowball, AWK, I am too many innovations come from there. And uh, then it was also the, the Bell systems. Mm. That's called telephony company. Normally, the Bell Labs G was uh, or was created from the Bell Systems, and then changed the name. And actually, in a 2007, I think, then they they changed again the name to be the Bell Bell Labs Laboratory Innovation Bell Labs Innovation. Then, at least they was b- they were both by this company AT and T. This is American Telephony and Telegraph Company, which uh, was the owner of the the Bell Labs. Then after, again they they were like for today. Normally they were in 2016 they were both by Nokia. Now this Bell Lab is owned by Nokia and you can see that through the years uh, they have created too many things they innovated because they have too many prices and too many innovations you can see that uh, 
from uh, 1920, right? 1920, 19, and they they created too many innovations, and you can see the how they evolve it. They created also the transistor, the calculator, but also they invented the the C programming language, as I said. So too many people there were too many innovation with too many innovations and you can see all the Nobel Prizes and Turing Prizes, Amy Pre Awards, Grammy Awards, Academy Awards. Those people worked at Bell Labs. So it was a research organization and too many scientists were there and they created too many innovations so this company was very important still they are uh, they still ve they are uh, very important so you can see people popular li like brian Cunningham, the other like thompson the man Richie, Dennis Richie, who created the C programming language, and also who created the unit, the Unix operating system. But also we have Ken Thompson, and uh, too ma many others, which I can't, yeah, mention everyone. So. I think if you want to know more about them, so you can go and check out and see and read about them and you will be amazed about how many people come from this organization and how many like prices they have and uh, also how many innovations they have. Mm? This is a leading company for technology today because as you can see if now we use the oper the unix operating system or if now we have the cloud it's because of people who were working there yeah right so you should know more about it and go and learn about it be fascinated maybe you can be inspired about something and that's why it was important that I talk about it. I talk about this very huge and very well-known laboratory for scientists and uh, innovators. So, thank you for watching. And uh, I think now that we have seen all that, we can go and... Uh, see more topics about the shell because as you can see we are in the series about the shell command line or the shell scripting which is the scripting language which helps us to interact with the unix system and other linux operating systems so see you in the next video and go and do some research and read 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 and read Goodbye.